Hi guys. It is a hot summer day. 88 degrees. I guess I can't complain too much. Here in the end times, it is, I think it's Tuesday, July 19, 2022, or somewhere around there. And I am off to get another truckload of dead hemlock boards from the Amish guy up here at the uh, sawmill driving through all of these dead ash trees. I wonder if we could build a tiny house out of ash trees. There's no shortage of already dead ones of those. But anyway, uh, so guys, I need some uh, some help here. My buddy and my buddy and I, mainly my buddy, need some help. So I got a call from an old friend of mine down in Austin, Texas who uh, has uh, finally, after how long, unbelievably, he has found a new romantic interest in his life, uh, a new spark. He is in love. We will call him Billy Bob, and uh, I was so happy for Billy Bob that he had finally fallen in love. No more pile of fish for Billy Bob. And uh, so I guess this whirlwind romance is, what is it, about three months? And I don't even know if it's three months old. And so for reasons I will not go into, uh, there's already trouble in paradise in this new, in this new whirlwind romance. Uh, and we have a, uh, a female hormone problem. Uh, without getting to, as they say, without getting into the gory details, we have this diagnosed as a female hormone problem. So, uh, Billy Bob has asked my advice since he knows what a uh, qualified, what's the word, Lothario that I am. He, you know, he looks around for all of his buddies with the biggest harems surrounding him. Like, hey, Mon, I can see all the women uh, hanging around you, uh, how you have to beat the women back with a stick. And uh, so he is asking my romantic advice. Basically, since, since I am, uh, since anybody should pattern their own romant their own uh, love lives after ham bones, if you really want a rich, rewarding love life and uh, how to really get the girls to be unable to say no. It doesn't matter what kind of hormone uh, fluctuation their body is in the throes of. And uh, so I said, well, what you need to do, brother, is we need the soundtrack. We need to get, uh, we need to get your new Dulcinea in your life. We need to get her hormones elevated. So, uh, so what you need to do is put together a list of songs guaranteed, guaranteed to elevate uh, any woman's hormones to a level where she cannot resist you. Uh, if you play these songs, uh, you better believe we will have a hormonal uh, resurgence and she will be attacking you because no woman can say no to any man who plays this list of songs. And so then, of course, so I made the promise. So he was all excited because he knows what a, he knows both what an uh, expert uh, in relationships with women, and he knows that I am a, uh, a gynecologist, uh, and he knows that uh, I'm basically a DJ, and I uh, have an extensive knowledge of, uh, of music. So I made him the promise. He was all excited, so he said, send me the list. And then I had to come up with the list. So uh, I sent Billy Bob a baker's dozen, which means 
13 songs. These are the songs I came up with uh, and sent them. And of course, what I am looking for is I know that I missed about 500. So I want to know, I especially want to hear from the ladies on this one. I especially want to hear from the ladies how well I did. And uh, do you have any recommendations for Billy Bob to come up with a song to uh, get uh, the juices flowing again, shall we say, in his uh, budding, flagging relationship? Okay, I'm see if I can remember them. Let's see. I started off with Leon Russell with the slow, the slow half, the slow side of Leon Russell's greatest hits. I chose a song for you, Lady Blue and Back to the Island by uh, Leon Russell. Okay, a song for you, Lady Blue and Back to the Island by Leon Russell. Let's see. Okay, uh, Leonard Cohen. Now, Leonard Cohen, when I lost my uh, virginity to Mary Ellen Rinaldi, it was Leonard Cohen's songs playing in the background when I got deflowered. It was actually Suzanne that was playing, and while that was a contender, I went with that's no way to say goodbye and I'm your man by Leonard Cohen okay then I went over to uh, Roberta Flack I I was thinking of Phoebe Snow I probably could have found something from Phoebe Snow too but I went with Roberta Flack and I actually got two. I, I, I had a hard time. I just had to pick both of them and I'm sure you know the two songs I'm talking about. The first time ever I saw your face and Killing Me Softly. The first time I ever saw your, first time ever I saw your face and Killing Me Softly by Roberta Flack. Of course, we had to go to some of the, you know, some of the heavyweights. I had to get one from the Beatles and one from the Stones. So from the Beatles, I wanted to pull one out. I went with George Harrison and something, you know, something in the way she moves. Uh, the very opening track on Abbey Road, on side one of Abbey Road. Oh shit, is that the opening track or is that number two? Anyway, off of Abbey Road, Something by George Harrison and the Beatles. And with the Stones, I went with Angie. Uh, I went with Angie by the Rolling Stones. Uh-oh, I'm not writing all of this down. How many have I covered here? Oh yes, Bob Marley. Again, I, uh, good God, how many can I pull out for with Bob? I went with No Woman, No Cry. No Woman, No Cry, and Stir It Up by Bob Marley. We needed some uh, sexy reggae in there to get the juices flowing. Oh... Uh, Okay, what do I, I, I'm just doing this off the time I sent this email last night. Okay, I think there's two more. Uh, I had to get someone a little bit newer, you know, than the 1970s. So I went with Pearl Jam. Uh, what is the name of the song? I think the name of the song is, is Breathe. It's got breathe in it. Just breathe or let it breathe by Pearl Jam. Came out about 10 years ago. I told him, uh, damn, I can't remember the name of the exact title of the song. I told Billy Bob, there is no way 
that any woman can survive listening to that without ripping your clothes off and throwing you in the bed and having multiple orgasms just listening to that song by Pearl Jam with the word breathe in it. And I closed with, I had a hard time, uh, anyone familiar with the late great uh, Eva Cassidy. Eva Cassidy, her uh, CD Songbird is a, uh, a always a guaranteed way to get the juices flowing and it was a tough call and I went with the standard uh, somewhere over the rainbow uh, Eva Cassidy's version from Songbird one of the all-time great renditions of uh, somewhere over the rainbow and it was not long after Eva recorded that. I guess she was uh, taking her kids to Mexico. And they were snorkeling in Mexico. And the tour boat hit her. The propeller of the tour boat hit Eva while she was snorkeling with her kids and killed her. And that was the end of that song, Bird. You never know when your number's up. So, ladies, how did I do? Uh, I mean, I want to hear from the guys, too. So, guys, what song have you had the most success with getting female hormones jacked up? And, ladies, what is the song you wish that your clueless moron man would play if he wants to get you all hot and bothered and uh, <laughs> anyway I am back to the gas station I see gas is now four dollars and fifty cents a gallon in Bath New York this is the cheapest gas I have had since I got to New York four fifty a gallon which is three cents cheaper than yesterday and I love this cool summer breeze Get out there and grab all the 450 gallon gas while you still can and uh, send me your songs. Bye guys and ladies.